Welcome back Guardians. In this video we will be reviewing Soros Regime, the exotic auto rifle and we will be looking for the best exotic weapons in Destiny. So let's get started off looking at the weapon and it has field choke which will increase the range and slight impact increase I believe, linear and smart drift control. Now smart drift control is the obvious choice here it so clearly is what we're giving you maximum stability. Then we have focus fire, which lets you cause more damage when aiming down sight, but does slow your fire rate. High caliber rounds for staggering your targets. And then my, my favorite choice for this would be hammer forged. I think it's just utterly important. Ups the range and makes this gun a real beast. Then we have lightweight, which will give you plus two agility. Which is something I'm liking more and more on guns lately, but I must say Hammer Forge is my preference for this gun. And then the Saurus Regime perk, which has bottom half of each clip, causes more damage. And also has the ability to possibly heal your health when causing damage. Maybe he's so there. because I think the ballistics are very straightforward and obvious, we're not going to look at them. But we are going to look at focus fire. Now when you fire from the hip, you're still going to fire with that high fire rate. And it still causes a very good amount of damage. When you aim down sight, you can see the damage is increased even more and it does fire slower. But if someone gets up close, you can still drop to hit fire speed just to clear them away and keep yourself safe. Now again, Hammer Forge is my preferred preference, but let's look at how high caliber rounds work with the Soros Regime. Now, there should be a couple of dregs over here, yes, and watch as they are hit by the bullets, they're staggered, they do not move, and this will work on almost every target. So as you can see, the vandals are getting staggered also, and can be quite useful for PvE. We'll take a look at Hammerforged in the Crucible, but now let's look at the Lightweight perk. So this is me running and jumping without Lightweight upgrade active. Let's make it active and see the speed difference and the jump difference. I now, we found the speed appears only slight, but I feel like I can get a lot more height with the plus two agility. Guardian down. So if this is something you need for a certain part of gameplay, then you can quickly switch to this and get it done. Now for the Soros Regime perk. So I've gone into Protozen hard mode where my health will not regenerate. And as you can see here, Getting a kill or causing damage rather can cause more health to regen. Now, it's worth noting this isn't like Red Death, it isn't on every kill, and that's why, as you can see there, these two kills have not regenerated the health. But it does happen more often than not. In PvP, the Crucible, Soros has not been affected by the patch, it is still just as good as ever. Now, it's hard to give you exact figures per bullet of damage, what with the bottom half causing more damage, but the first half of your clip will cause 25 damage to the body and 31 damage on a headshot. But bear in mind, if you wait on your reloads and keep a bit of ammo in reserve, the last few bullets in the clip will deal very, very high damage. For me, this is one of the best, if not the best, weapon to use in Crucible. It's so good, particularly in the Iron Banner events. But with Hammer Forged on it, as I said we would mention, you are able to take people out for a distance, still retaining your maximum weapon damage. There isn't too much we can say about Soros in the Crucible, simply because it's just that good. There are no drawbacks to it, in my opinion and it is one of the best weapons on the game. With its decent clip size of 33, maximum stability, high impact, high fire rate, and high range, depending on what perks you use, and the decent reload speed, there isn't really any reason why you shouldn't own Crucible using this weapon. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please don't forget to subscribe to see more daily Destiny videos. And if you think this is the best exotic weapon on Destiny, let me know in the comments below. If there's another weapon you prefer, also put that there. And thank you for watching.